You know, one question I really have to ask about this game right now. Was Warzone 2 and Almaza really as bad as the community says it is? Or is everyone just nostalgic about Verdansk and Warzone 1? Because from my experience of playing on this map in particular, I thought it was a good map. I enjoyed it. I had my fun with it a lot. I land over here. Nice little rural spot. But in just a few days from the time of recording this video, we won't be able to play all of Malzra anymore. It'll be gone. And then honestly, I'm kind of sad about that. I've actually always enjoyed the map. I thought it was good since the day it came out. Funny thing is on my other channel, I actually ran a poll asking people like when the map first came out, which map is better for dancing in all of Malzra. And people actually, majority of people voted for al Mazra, which is surprising but then just a couple months later i asked which map is better for dance and al Mazra, and then majority of people said for dance so i'm wondering if people actually do hate this map or if it's just a bit of nostalgia and people just not enjoying warzone 2 as a game mode and i'm being tracked are you kidding me we just started here can i use this bomb drone right now i just kind of maybe just Break a window, kind of get a little bit of a sight, see if there's anyone around me by any chance. Let's let this boy fly. Uh, uh, wait, gotta go down and up and out. Okay. Who is trying to kill me? I see literally no one around me. But there's definitely some aspects of Warzone 2 I actually really liked over Warzone 1. I know, how dare I even say that. But there definitely were aspects of Warzone 2 that I was like, man, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that change. So I figured we'd jump in and talk about that in this video. Now, the biggest thing I've seen majority of the community complain about when it comes to Warzone 2 and maybe just Modern Warfare 2 in general. And that is the lack of movement, I guess you call it, or the focus more on positioning, which personally, I've actually really enjoyed. I felt that in Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone 1, the movement was just so freaking cracked. As more of a casual Call of Duty fan, I was just not down to learn how to just be in cracked out demon. Hey, we got some perks. There we go. I'll take those for now. Oh, we got Prog Shot boys coming in. Is this my bounty? There's a loadout drop right there. Let's see if our buddy goes for it. Oh my god, and an occupation scan coming in. I'm gonna say hello now. All right, it's like our homie did the same. No one's really that close. Okay, our buddy is lame prone like a champ right now. Oh wait, here he is. Oh, he knows we're here. He knows we're here. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh god. Oh god, oh god no. Oh no. This isn't working in our favor, is it? Yeah, reposition this right here. A little high ground. If I can climb a ladder, that'd be nice. He's dead silent, and I'm genuinely terrified right now. You, baby. And we ranked up in the process, baby! Oh, this guy was kidded. Oh, he has high alert on. Thank you very much. I'll take your submachine gun too, Lillian. In. Oh boy, someone's dropping back in on us. Oh no, he came back for seconds! No! He had a res must have had a redeploy pack or something crazy. Now let me out the window! Let me out the window! Replete! Live! Survive! Serpentine! You mess with the warrior! <laughs> Talk about a revenge kill attempt, dude. My goodness. I'm just trying to live my best life over here, man. All right, so what was I talking about? Oh yeah, people not liking Warzone 2. Get my demon spawn weapons here first. So personally, I actually really enjoyed Warzone 2. I think I like the emphasis on ground loot and also having to do objectives to get money when the game first came out. I thought that was a really nice... Overhead. I got UAV. Okay, well, way to interrupt me. I'm just trying to chat with the community here. But I would say it was a big mess up not having loadouts as part of the game when it first came out. Like, yeah, I understand trying to be a little more reliant on ground loot, maybe a little more RNG kind of stuff, and not to worry about having, like, meta weapons all the time, which definitely I'd say is a downfall of Modern Warfare's Battle Royale mode. But it was that differentiator, right? It was the thing that made Warzone unique, and I'm sure it certainly helps buying blueprints i mean look at this thing right here i picked up like yeah this thing looks awesome oh yeah and we're talking about movement as well and i actually like the movement that was in modern warfare 2 i like the lower slower pace gameplay and stuff like that call me a noob call me a, a true sentinel if you will but i like the emphasis on positioning a little bit more in this game do i do think what they did with modern warfare 3 to kind of have a nice little middle ground it seems like between the advanced movements of modern call of duties 
and keeping it reined in a little bit as well so it's not too crazy i think it was a good move that's why i'm really looking forward to seeing what the next map is going to play out for us how warzone i guess three if you want to call it is going to play we got a friend right here i don't think he knows i might call the uav just to make sure he also has ghost on where's the other guy i see him on the radar way back here is he pushing oh wait he jumped out Oh, we downed him. You're not getting that res up, buddy. You're mine. I did just lose high ground, and we do have a guy pushing us right now as well. So, yippee. Yeah, he's looking at me. Oh, there he is. Oh, you got a sniper, too. Oh, do we challenge this? I think if I do challenge, I gotta go. I gotta go around. I can't just run right up at the guy. Oh, he's still looking at me. He knows I'm flanking. Damn it! And he has severe high ground on me now. Adding concern levels. He needed it. Oh my god! Is that the same guy from earlier? He came back! He came back for revenge! Are you kidding me? No! He won this gulag, came back, and got me. Are you serious, dude? The thirst level is absurd. I will admit, I played that horribly though. Most of I want to talk about the Warzone map itself, Alamazo, right? I thought it was a good map. I mean, I know a lot of people like Verdansk a lot more apparently, but I really liked Alamazo. I thought it was a fun map, a lot better than what it was with Caldera or whatever came after Verdansk, really. We gotta win these right here. There you are, friend. And, you know, I had a chance to jump in a little bit with the new Warzone map. There's no loadout drop anywhere near me. Come on. And a player. And a player. And a player. Can we store on them though? Which is it? Let's full send it. Why not? Oh no. He sees me. He definitely sees me. He definitely sees me. Is he pushing from below? No! Javier Ravalin, if I pronounce his name. Let's just check him out and see what this demon is doing. He got seven kills. Okay, I, I thought he was like a oblivious belt buddy over here just sitting on top of a rooftop. He couldn't see me at first, but yeah, I, again, I played that terribly. But it gives me a chance to actually talk about the map All Monster, I can put like Verdansk or anything else to be played recently. I would honestly put All Monster right up there with Verdansk. guys. a good map. And having that chance to play a little bit of the new map as well when it comes to zombies yeah, and a little yeah. bit of ground war that it definitely is an interesting decision. Ooh, we have a friend right here. You didn't even see him. Dude, I was dropping in super hot. I did not realize that. Oh, uh, see, that's why you don't play like a turtle, dude. Come on, you don't play like that. Look how many self is that guy holding <laughs> Oh my goodness. That guy was playing to die a lot. The design of the new Warzone map is interesting. It's kind of inverse of what Alamazer is. Because Alamazer in the center map, you kind of have a bit of a mountain peak kind of thing. Kind of same thing we have with Caldera. This can be actually inverse where the, the center map is actually going to be the bottom. Dude, there's a guy right behind you. How is he even alive right now? Oh, he's jumping out. Okay, maybe he can get away with this. Which would be interesting to see if people kind of stick more to the outer rims of the map rather than jump in. Oh my goodness. Javier, the beams. Look at you. Wait, why, why don't you finish him off? Why don't you get the kill? He might have a self res. What are you doing? You had him right there. Okay, he's like, okay, he's done. That was like a trust fall of a kill right there. He's like, assumed like if he doesn't have self res, I can get him. Dude, Javier, how'd you not see that guy? Or oh, there we go. Here's a Groot skin. Here's sweaty. There's a sweaty right there. Push it. Push it, Javier. You have the chance. You're a little slow on that. Ed. Okay, now yeah, you lost your chance right there, basically. You can open up the door. Here, push in everything. Yeah, great job. Throw that stun. Push in the other side. Oh, whoa, the Groot just pieced. Dude, that Groot's a magician. This is where it gets really terrifying when you know there's someone right next to you and you have no idea where they are. You hear the gunfight to your right, dude. Everyone has headsets. Get the Groot. You have no hobby! I'm afraid what this Groot skin has. How many kills? Seven as well. Okay, so we have pretty decent players in this lobby as well. Kuza. Rocking with a gold bass P. Well, I'm pretty sure that's the meta if I remember correctly, right? I don't know. It feels like it changes every month. Another kill. Nice job there, man. The enemy playing like a true group. Not anymore. Oh my god, is that our friend Papian? Wait, he let him get up. Oh, I need him get back down again. <laughs> it is our homie Papalian. Oh my gosh, the hungriest dude, the thirstiest guy I've ever played against in the game. Holy crap. I'm looking forward to it. I like the reduced amount of like visual recoil screen. I like the new map from what I've played so far. The areas at least I've played in Ground War and Zombies seems really interesting and excited to play this. And so when it comes around December 6th, I'm definitely gonna be jumping in and playing a ton of it on the channel as well. He actually got it down with that. Oh my God. This guy is such a demon. He has 11 kills. How did I kill this guy twice? I had to kill him three times just to get him to stay in this lobby. Oh, it's a 1v1. It's a 1v1. I'm pretty sure that guy's downed, right? He must have gotten back up. If I lose to the guy who wins, then I, I would feel better about my gameplay here. 
He's definitely looking confident, like he can pull it off. I think it's a rail shield guy. Oh my god, of course it's a rail shield guy at the end of the game. Why is he throwing the sensor down? What is he doing? Yep, here you go. Okay, so at least I lost to the guy who ended up winning the whole thing. He only needed three tries. Well, War Zone 3, I'm excited, guys. I'm ready to jump in and play some of the new map. And let's try it out, have some fun with it. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe if you guys want to catch more Call of Duty content. Like if you enjoyed these kind of videos and want to see more like it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.